All right, everyone, this is going to be a quick and short video today. Alex Atkins is cooking with grease again. Keandre Jones, the interior offensive lineman transfer from Auburn, has now committed to Florida State. It is a huge, massive development that Florida State continues to get these quality offensive linemen. And Casey Roderick, the Colorado interior offensive lineman. And then you also got a guy like Jeremy Byers, the UTEP offensive tackle slash interior offensive guard. And then you also got a guy like Lucas Simmons that's committed to the program. Christopher Otto that's considered as well. Um, there's just a lot of different things that are going in the Seminoles' direction, especially on the offensive line. I specifically thought that Florida State was going to be able to kind of have these three to four offensive linemen in the class. It's going to be a little bit more of a smaller class. They might have been able to get Simmons and Otto and then kind of shoot for the stars with two transfers. But it seems like they may get five or six offensive linemen in this class, and that is remarkable considering how many offensive linemen they had signed during last year's cycle. Um, but you are losing guys like Gibbons and also Demetri Emmanuel, so you have to kind of factor in how you're going to be able to replace those guys. Now, while I don't think Jones is a purified and bona fide starter uh, penciled in just yet at either the right guard or the left guard position, I do think that he is someone that can bring some experience to the table. He's got two years of the uh, – eligibility remaining. He's 6'4", 340 pounds. He's been at Auburn for four uh, four years now. He's from the Georgia area. He was a three-year starter um, in high school, and then he kind of redshirted through, and he played and actually played in 2019. I uh, was a pretty productive person as well for them. Uh, in 2020, he played pretty well as well, um, and then 2021 was kind of his coming out party where he had a 71.1 PFF grade and he got the third team all SEC honors. I think that was something that was very important to him. Problem was coming into the 2022 season was where he kind of struggled. He didn't really play all that much. He had 330 snaps, but he was basically just a reserve in 11 games. So it was kind of disappointing to see the drop off coming from that 71.1 PFF grade to a 57.1 PFF grade. Will he be able to regain that kind of confidence and, and acceleration and everything that he had had at his previous time there at Auburn? Auburn struggled this past season with a five and seven record. You know, they're going through new coaching staff changes and, he just really doesn't want to be a part of that new coaching staff change. And I get it. Some kids are kind of like that in certain instances. It's nothing against him or anything like that. But he did visit Florida State more recently this past weekend. And this is a situation where Florida State can take advantage of everything going on. Now, I understand that Florida State is kind of uh, heavy at offensive line right now, but they will never turn around offensive line talent. I mean, you have to understand that when you get a talent – um, in the transfer portal that's been experienced and been in games, been in meaningful games at that at Auburn in, in a Power 5 conference that has been something of remarkable for Florida State going forward there. And three or four years ago, you would have prayed for this offensive line transfer to come into the program at this point. Now we're talking about quality reserves and everything's like that. But I do think Jones is someone that you can really rely on in your offensive line depth. And Maybe if you if you're not too comfortable right now with Bryson Estes or Zane Herring or you know some of those other guys as well, Thomas Schrader is another guy coming off of injury. If you're not really sure about some of those guys, you know why not take a chance on a more proven guy that has had that experience and have those three guys or four guys or however many at the offensive line uh, rotation kind of get them up to speed, build their confidence up a little bit more. Maybe by junior or senior year, they can be able to be quality reserves or starters for you. So I think this is a great get for Florida State um, as they go through. And this is a guy with two years of eligibility, like I said before. I think Alex Atkins can groom him into something special. But I'm just kind of concerned about the PFF rates just dropping down from season to season. I think if he's able to kind of do that before, I mean, his pass block grade is at a 61.9, which is okay, I guess. And then, you know, the run block grade is something to uh, definitely work on with a 54.6. But, I mean, overall, I mean, Roddick has a, a, you know, 71 pass grade and a 53 run grade. So, I see the resemblance of being able to finish on some of these run blocks as well. So, he can kind of get better in that regard. Um, and then you got Jeremiah Byers, who is averaging, I believe he has an 81 PFF grade, 79 run block grade, very, very talented player um, that you can put on the interior or the offensive tackle. I do think as of right now, Roddick and Byers would be your starting uh, offensive guards. And then you'll have Jones coming off the bench, which is definitely not a bad thing. I think Jones is somebody that you can really base your uh, line on. And then you're looking at the offensive tackles. you got Robert Scott on the left side, potentially a Bless Harris coming off of injury or Julian Armella. Uh, coming into the fold a little bit later, 
in the season, I think those two guys, you could really base it off of right tackle and then Murray Smith in, in the center position. I think that would be a formidable offensive lineman uh, group that is just going to have Jordan Travis coming out there with a bunch of those receivers and running backs. You have the two tight end sets with uh, Jaheim Bell and also Kyle Morlock as well. I think this offense could be really, really special, and I think they're just adding to the pot of being an elite offense. But I really appreciate all the love and support on the video so far. Please be sure to like comment your thoughts on everything, subscribe to the channel, click that little bell at the top right corner and be able to be notified every time I make a video. And I really do appreciate all the love and support. And as always, go Noles.